I think it is about time we go over the solution to the 87th weekly math challenge. In triangle ABC, we have A being 45 degrees, B being 75, and C being 60 degrees. These are pretty nice angles that we are given to start off. Let points D, E, and F be the fit of the altitudes from A to B, C, B to A, C, and C to A, B respectively. So if we think about dropping down an altitude from A to side B, C, we are going to hit point D. And similarly, if we drop an altitude from B to side A, C, we are going to hit E. And finally, we are going to hit F. And you may be noticing that as we are dropping down these altitudes, we are forming a lot of 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90 triangles. For example, A, B, E, we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle right here. And, and B, E, C, well, we have 30, 60, 90 triangle residing right here because we have 60 degrees and 90 degree angle. So we probably want to take advantage of these nice triangles that we can easily find the side length of. These are nice observations, but I think we should finish reading the question before we move on too far. Additionally, let points G, H, and I be the fit of the altitudes from A to E, F. So we're dropping down an altitude to get G. And in the same way, B to D, F and C to D, E respectively. So here's one and here is the final one. Now here is the question. Find the degree measure of the angle H, G, I. How do we proceed? Well, since we are trying to hunt down an angle, it is probably beneficial for us to find out as many angles as possible. And it seems like, just looking at the diagram, that this triangle AFE is similar to our original triangle ABC. And hopefully you see the similarity. It seems intuitive enough just by glancing at the diagram. But how do we prove it? Well, actually, now that I mentioned that, it looks like all four of the triangles, including our original triangle ABC, are similar. So this one, this one, this one, and the entire ABC. It seems like every single one of them are similar. Once we prove that, we are going to have many more angles to work with. So let's try to establish the similarity. Here is a larger diagram for our convenience. We want to show that the angle AFE, this angle, is 60 degrees. But how do we prove that? Well, let's think about how D, E, and F were constructed in the first place. They were the fit of the altitudes, if you remember, from the problem statement from the vertices. So, so if we draw an altitude from A to B, C, and the altitude from B to A, C, and an altitude from C to A, B, we are going to get our points D, E, and F. And all of them should intersect at the ortho center. Let's call it O. Usually the convention is to use H to denote the ortho center, but we already use the H, so let's use O. Now, how do we go from this 60 degrees to this 60 degrees? Well, we're going to jump around. First, to realize that we have the cyclic quadrilateral O, E, C, D, because we have two 90 degree angles located opposite from each other. So that's telling us the angle D, O, E, this angle, is 120 degrees. That's in turn telling us that this angle is 60 degrees. And since our quadrilateral A, F, O, E is cyclic as well, by the same reasoning, the angle that we just found that was 60 degrees, the angle A, O, E, has to be the same as the angle A, F, E, because they subtend the same arc which immediately establishes our claim. So we have a problem one similarity, and using the exactly the same reasoning, you can show that all the other triangles are similar to the original one as well. Now, right away, to our delight, we see that we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle residing inside, because this angle is going to be 30 degrees, because we have 150 already, and we know this angle has to be 60, and this has to be 90. Wow, that is extremely nice. But how much closer are we to finding the desired angle HGI? Well, we can find HGI once we find FGH and EGI. Which angle do you think is going to be easier to find? Let's focus on this triangle GEI for the moment, because that looks like it's an isosceles triangle. 
Now, if that's a nice solstice, then we immediately know that this angle is going to be 30 degrees. But once again, how do we prove it? Well, let me show you one of the many possible ways, and this one is probably not the most elegant way, but for this particular triangle, it is reasonably efficient. And that is to use trigonometry. To do so, let me quickly draw this line BE, which is going to form a 45-45-90 triangle on top and 30-60-90 triangle down below. So if we let EC be 1, that's telling us that BE is going to be square root of 3, and by 45-45-90 triangle, that's telling us AE is square root of 3. So let me quickly jot those down. Now we can go one more step, and we see that GE is a square root of 3 times cosine of 75 degrees by looking at this right triangle AGE, and we can draw a perpendicular to I, and we see that EI is simply cosine of 75 degrees. So if we focus on, if we zoom in into triangle GEI, so this is GEI, proportionally speaking, when EI is 1, our GE is going to be square root of 3 times that, because we are multiplying by square root of 3. And perhaps I should specify this, what lengths we start out does not really matter. If we started off with 2, then this was going to be 2 times the square root of 3, and all and both of these are going to be multiplied by 2. Since we are trying to establish equality of size GI and EI, the exact values of the lengths do not matter. What really matters is the proportionality constant between them, which we want to prove is 1. So we can simply say EI is 1 and GE is the square root of 3, and we wish to show that GI is 1. Well, we know this angle is 30 degrees, so we can use the law of cosines, letting this be x. x squared is going to be 3 plus 1 minus 2 times the square root of 3 times cosine of 30, and this is a 4 minus 2 times square root of 3 times the square root of 3 over 2, well, that's simply 4 minus 3, or 1. So x squared is 1, that's telling us x is 1 as well, and we have shown that GEI is isosceles. So that's showing us that one of the angles that we need is 30 degrees. But we are not even really halfway done, because analyzing the left portion of this diagram turns out to be much harder than analyzing the right portion, if we are going to use trigonometry. One of the many complications is that we don't have the nice isosceles triangle for triangle FGH, so we are going to have to do more computation to find the angle FGH. But instead of bashing this using trigonometry, I'd like to introduce a beautiful, elegant method, by Serengeti Gasa, who deserve another shout out for being the very first person to correctly answer this problem last week. A huge congratulations to Serengeti Gasa, and his method, as we'll see, uses clever triangle similarity to show that HG is in fact parallel to BE. And we kinda see that, once we draw BE, that they seem to be parallel. This allows us to find FGH almost instantaneously, because FGH would be the same as FEB. And we know angle AEB is 90 degrees, because E is the foot of the altitude from B to AC, and we know angle AEF is 75 degrees, so that's telling us angle FEB would be 15, 90 minus 75. So because that's 15, we know this angle is 15, and we are essentially done. So our journey will come to the end, once we show that HG and BE are parallel. And here is the Serengeti Gasa's argument. We will first let the intersection of BE and FD be J. Now by a well-known theorem in geometry, we get our desired HG being parallel to BE, once we show that FG over FH is equal to GE over HJ. Once we show that these segments, so FH, HJ, FG, and GE are being divided in a proportional manner by the lines HG and BE, then we know they are parallel. So how do we establish the equality here? Well, let's start by realizing that FG over FH is equal to AG over BH by looking at the triangle AGF, so this triangle, and the triangle BHF. Both of them are 30, 60, 90 triangle, as we can see. 
So Fg over Fh is going to be Ag over Bh. To prove this equality, we will now show that Ag over Bh is also equal to Ge over Hj by looking at the triangle Age and the triangle BHJ. So BHJ, AGE is a 1575-90 triangle. As for BHJ, we know this angle, angle EBC is 30 degrees, and we know angle FBH is 30 degrees, and we know the entire angle ABC is 75, so the angle HBJ, this, this tiny angle, is going to be 15 degrees. So we have another 1575-90 triangle, so these two triangles are similar as well, and we see that AG over BH, AG over BH, is indeed GE over HJ. And this establishes the equality, proving our assertion. So, since we know GEB, this angle is 15 degrees, we know this angle is also 15 degrees, and since EGI we have shown is 30 degrees, that's telling us that our desired angle, data, is 180 minus 15 minus 30, also known as 135 degrees. So let's go all the way back up. Our final answer to this question is 135 degrees.